Welcome to Strato Income. This channel is to help you understand companies so that you can decide if the company is worthy of your investment. Our goal here is to do the research for you so you don't have to. In today's video, we'll be looking at the Roblox. And this is part one of the three part video series about the company. Part one is about the company background, the management team, and the company's major products. Attributes that are most critical for the organic growth of the company. In the second video, we'll talk about Roblox financials, where we'll determine the current health and the risk of the company. And in part three of the Roblox video series, we'll look at how the Roblox stock is currently setting up. This would tell us if now is the right time for you to invest in the company. Lastly, at the end of those three videos, we'll give a score on Roblox overall from company attributes, fundamental and the technical indicators for you to consider if this company is worthy of your investment. Therefore, please make sure you subscribe and follow the channel to stay up to date with the new content if Roblox is a company that you're interested in investing. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below and I will research and answer that for you in future videos. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. What is Roblox? Roblox is an online gaming platform that connects gamers with developers. Developers build games using Roblox technology, which is called the Roblox Studio. Because these technologies are provided by Roblox, that's why gaming characters in majority of those games look very similar. They all look like Lego characters. However, developers are very creative here building all kinds of games. For games on Roblox, we're talking about teens and young adults. Roblox primary targeted gamers are between the age of nine to 15 years old. They play interactive games along with their friends. The stats showing that at least 50% of the gamers on Roblox are playing with their friends. So what does that mean? It's social, it's gross hacking, where gamers invite their friends and their friends inviting more friends, resulting in a network effect. That's why Roblox was able to build a massive user base in a very short period of time. And because the massive amount of gamers attracts developers to come to the platform and to build games. This in turn is creating a feedback loop. More gamers lead to more developers and more developers would create more games that attract more gamers. In some senses, Roblox is very similar to the YouTube platform. While Roblox has accumulated a large audience base in 2020, it's further supercharged by the COVID where people were locked at home to play video games. However, the company still have a tons of runway to go. According to Roblox in the first quarter of 2021, daily active users on the platform is 42.1 million. As a comparison, Snapchat's daily active user is 280 mi mi million. In, in other words, there's a lot of potential for the company to continue to grow. Now let's talk about Roblox business model. On the Roblox platform, there are three main parties, the Roblox platform by itself, the gamers, and the developers creators. Developers are usually those that build the games, while creators are those that design the in-game items, such as gaming characters and the uniforms. These three parties are all connected by the games and the Roblox virtual currency, which is called a Robux. We'll talk about that in much more detail later. Developers create the games, and when gamers play those games, developers are getting paid. Some games are free, and some cost Robux. In the case that games cost money to play, players are essentially play, paying the developers. Additionally, developers on the Roblox platform can make the Roblox money by creating additional tools and share those tools with other developers. And they can further use those virtual currency to promote their own games, which is creating an even more uh, interesting business model here. Roblox is not providing this service for free. It takes a cut, which we'll also talk about next. Now, let's dive into deeper to understand how Roblox makes money. 
Roblox makes money primarily through its virtual currency called Robux, R-O-B-U-X. At a high level, gamers buy Robux and spend the Robux on games that they want to play. And they pay the developers in that way. And the developers either use the Roblox to build more games or cash out for the real world money currency. Or they can also reinvest back to build, enhance their own games or promote their games. Gamers can purchase Robux one time or through an ongoing subscription with different tier groups. For example, a $4.99 monthly subscription would get you close to 450 Robux currency. Gamers spend the Roblox to play games or unlock some additional features in some other games. In that process, Roblox, the company, takes a cut of the transactions and they give a portion to the developers. To be more precise, according to the company's IPO document, developers receives about 70% of the virtual currency and the Roblox takes the rest, which is 30%. In the case of creators, creators only receive 30% of the Robux spent for their items that people purchased. And in addition, Roblox makes money by advertising and getting royalties according to its IPO document. Roblox can also be converted to real life currencies. The conversion rate is determined by the Roblox. At this time, one Robux, the virtual currency on the platform is worthy more than one cent. To be precise, it's 0.0125 US dollar. So I would not be surprised to see Robux, the virtual currency actually, become, actually becomes another form of the cryptocurrencies in the near future. Now let's talk about Roblox, the company history. Why, you might ask, we want to know about the inf this information. This is important because usually a lot of companies are not surviving long. If you wanted to invest in a company, the company better be around four years. And to make it even less risky, the management team needs to have more than 15 years of combined experience. This threshold of 15 years is something I learned from the Mali Fu founder, David Garner. So to start, the early version, the beta version of Roblox was created by the co-founder, David Basuski and Erica Cassell in 2004. It was under the name Dynamic Blocks, and David started testing the first demo that year. In 2005, the company changed its name to Roblox, and it's officially launched on September 1st, 2006. In 2012, an iOS version of Roblox was released, and two years later, an Android version was released. These two launches brought Roblox to the forefront of mobile gaming. On October 1st, 2013, Roblox released its developer exchange program, allowing developers on the platform to exchange Roblox, the virtual currency, and convert that into real world currencies. In April 2016, Roblox launched the Roblox VR for the Oculus Rift. At the time of release, more than 10 million games were available in 3D. In June, the company launched a version compatible with Windows 10. While the gaming platform has had a presence on the PC since 2004, when the, version, when the Roblox early version was created, this was the first time it was upgraded with the standalone launchers built for Windows. In 2020, Roblox announced the creation of Party Place, which functioned as an online hangout room. So the company is definitely very up to speed in terms of the market and how everyone is enjoying social entertainments. Roblox was also granted permission to release in China on December 3rd, 2020. Therefore, Roblox has been around for more than 15 years. So it's a good indicator for a stable company. Now let's talk about how much stake the management team has in this company. I'd like to invest if company management actually has equity in the company. Similarly, David Garner from the Bonnie Food used 5% as a threshold to measure the significance of the company's founder's commitment to the growth of the company. 
But before we talk about what key leaders have in this company, we have to first define the leaders. In the case of Roblox, we definitely need to include the founder, David Basuski. And the second person I pick is the chief of a product because I believe the product is the most critical thing here for Roblox. If you disagree, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The chief product officer here is Manuel Brosentine. Now let's start with David. David is the founder and the CEO of the company. His vision has been to create a platform that enables shared experience among billions of users. David believes the metaverse is the future of social interaction and is building Roblox as a safe, civil, and a diverse community, a community that fosters creativity and positive relationships. Manuel serves as the chief product officer at the company, leading the product design and the data science organizations. Manuel has spent over 20 years as a product leader in the consumer and the entertainment space. Before Roblox, he was the VP of product at Google, leading the Google Assistants. Before that, he was the VP of product at YouTube, overseeing the company's mobile, desktop, and living room applications, as well as the streaming and the gaming. Uh, growth communities. He also led an effort to launch YouTube Kids, YouTube Music, and the YouTube Games. So on paper, he is a very good fit for the Roblox platform. Now, coming back to our evaluation criteria, does the company management has 5% of the stake in this company? And in this case, it's a yes. David has over 13% of stake in this company. We could not find the detail that how much chief product officer has invested. But in this case, the management team combined has more than 5% of the stake of the company. Another plus sign here as well. So far, we have talked about where Roblox is, the leadership team. Now let's talk about games on the platform because the content is what people come to this platform for. According to the research, there are over 50 million games currently on the Roblox. There are many versions in ranking the top games from the top gross, gross paid games to those that have in the top visits. We use the top visits as the key metrics to define the top games because it shows the diversity of games, gamers, and the overall popularity of the platform. The top games in this case are Adopt Me, Tower of Hell, Meep City. We'll just talk about a couple and I will link to other games in the description below. Earlier this year, Adopt Me broke a new record, attracting, attracting hundreds of thousands of concurrent players. The 500,000 at one point, which is a record for any game on the Roblox platform. This happened when the game was updated with a new feature release, Adopting Pets. Just about any time you check in on this game, you will see over 100,000 users playing together, adopting pets, designing their own homes, and exploring islands, and so on and so forth. Meep City was released in 2016 by a developer who goes by Alex Newturn. Meep City was the first Roblox game to ever get more than 1 billion visits. In this experience, you can play with millions of other Meep City visitors and chat and enjoy different games, earn coins, or customize your real estate. For the competitive landscape for Roblox, through our research, we found a couple, but if you don't have enough time, the short answer is there's no direct competitors for Roblox. Here is the reasoning. Roblox is very uniquely positioned. Games for teens and young adults specifically targeting those from nine to 15 years old, as we know from earlier um, slides. If we want to compare gaming platforms, Roblox can be compared against online gaming platforms, Facebook, Twitch, etc. Additionally, it can also be compared with hardcore gaming consoles, Xbox and the PlayStation or even computer games. But none of those platforms is as socially oriented to young teens as Roblox does. Now, let's take a different angle. If we were to compare Roblox with social media platforms, the likes of TikTok and Snapchat, Roblox would be, again, different because it's focusing on games on the social media side. 
And furthermore, the developer piece of Roblox is definitely making it very unique. If we wanted to compare that, Unity would be a competitor, but games created on the Unity is much more sophisticated than those on the Roblox. I personally would not be surprised that developers on the Roblox, as they gain more knowledge about creating games, they would move to the platforms like Unity's. However, if we were to put them all together, gaming, social, young adults, there's no direct competitors for Roblox. Roblox is sitting in a very sweet spot here. Now, to summarize, in today's video, we talked about what Roblox is, the platform, and the users. How does the Roblox make money and growth? We also talked about the key attributes about the company, the leadership team, the products, as well as competitive landscapes. In the next video, we'll talk, be talking about Roblox financials, the revenue, the cost, and also, most importantly, the growth rates. Where we will determine the current health of the company and its risk. And then the last part of the video, we'll be looking at the, how the Roblox stock is currently setting up. So definitely make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are thinking about investing in Roblox. Talk to you in the next video.